Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition Where we're with Garrus <laughs> And we're helping him get out of a sticky situation hmm. Tough bastards, but I've seen worse And we took out Garm and his blood pack This day just gets better and better He was one tough son of a bitch You fought with him before? Yeah, we tangled once Caught him alone, none of his gang to help him We still couldn't take him out I've never seen a Krogan regen that fast. He's a freak of nature. He just kept at it until his Vorcha showed up. It was close, but I had to let him go. Not this time. Only the Blue Suns are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. Tarek's got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on. Oh, no! Damn it! I thought I took that thing out already. Me too. I fixed it, but not completely. Yeah. Not sure. So there's that. <laughs> Is, uh, we did- Oh, shoot. No, I messed up. Oh, my gosh. You know how we got to meet each of the, um, leaders? I got- I got too over-eager. We didn't go talk to Tarek. Because this is Jentha, we would have talked to her. If I'd done that, man, Watch I am. Back. I am messing up all over the place. We need to prepare. Come see me. What do you mean we need to prepare? Come see me. I'm dead. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um. Man, dang it. It's just nice to get the extra dialogue, you know. I fixed it, but not completely. I made sure of that. They're all loading troops. I, I couldn't tell you if there was like anything like super significant. Oh no, there was. I think there was. I think, was there like a suit of armor or something we could have messed with? I don't know. But Tarek's the one in charge of everything too. And like you get to see like how he's kind of like losing his mind. <laughs> yeah, she's freaking. No way. Oh, come on. I need I need ammo. I do, I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get through. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't. I can see that. Need a medic. Stat. Ow! Stairs yet? I love this rifle. I love this rifle, he says. We good? <gasps> Garrus! Bestest bud, and you're gonna. Oh, I should have saved. Definitely should have saved. Should have saved my ammo. Oh, 
Anyway, I just, could you imagine Shepard? She's like, I just found my friend after, you know, two years of being dead. And you're gonna, you're gonna take him out? Ain't gonna happen. One down. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna scream. Okay. If you didn't repair it, you would have a lot harder of a fight. Uh, blue terrain blood. Nope. If if I came back to life, <laughs> you're coming back to life. We're getting you out of here, Garrus. Just hold on. Radio Joker, make sure they're ready for us. He's not gonna make it. Shut up, Laid. Morden's here. Morden can help him. Extracted Archangel, unclear whether the injury will impair his ability to assist the mission. Regardless, revelation of identity as Garrus Vicarian, useful in keeping Shepard comfortable. Nice that we get to have that update. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know what they're doing with us. Commander, we've done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard? Garrus! <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? <laughs> Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there and no one will even notice. <laughs> oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Some women find facial scars attractive. Mind you, most of those women are... Okay. <laughs> James is like, I'm out. I know, I know a situation. I'm not Frankly, welcome. I'm more worried about you, Cerberus Shepard. Do you remember those sick experiments they were doing? That's why I'm glad you're here, Garrus. If I'm walking into hell, I want someone I trust at my side. You realize this plan has me walking into hell, too. Just like old times. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. He looks rough, man. It's even it's even worse now than it was like in the in the regular edition. Um, but in the legendary edition, like they're really showing you how bad it cracked up his armor and stuff. And messed up his face. I for the longest time I thought that thing on the side of his head was like just like um like an undershirt type thing, like a kind of like I don't know, some sort of spacesuit type, like under spacesuit thing that like went like your whole body and then up halfway up your head. Um, I think I've seen it in like Star Trek or something, but it's actually just a giant freaking band aid. It's a giant band aid on his face, holding his face together. Morning, oh frick, oh, I forgot. I didn't even do any of this. Anyway, I'm super sad. Not super sad. I'm a little, I'm a little bummed. I'm a little bummed that I didn't go talk to Tarek. Dang it. I hope there wasn't any information in there. I, I got the Arya Talok, uh journal, like, a, what is it, like, data pad entry, which was the biggest thing we can get from there, but dang it. I hope I didn't miss anything too important. Um, uh, shit, enhancements. <laughs> Prototypes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Inferno armor. The Cerberus armor actually looks legit, honestly. Oh, it's really cheap. Shin, rechargeable pack. Out of shape going in and shape coming out. Okay, let's do this. Sure. Yeah, let's get that freaky looking, freaky looking gun. Uh, the Inferno Armor. Negotiation bonus. Interesting. 
tech and but tech and biotic power damage storm speed it's got good bonuses <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's the one I used. The, the, the one that, like, is, is self-guiding. <laughs> I don't care about the submachine gun. Oops, armor upgrade. Metagel capacity. Yes. Need that. Uh, tech damage. Sure. I don't, I don't use it, but I have people who do. Oh yeah, some of them require like you you have like your basic like tech damage type um your capacity or whatever. So I have the tech duration and trauma module that I could upgrade if I get another metagel capacity upgrade or a tech damage upgrade. Anyway. So this is just a list of all of them I've done. Hello friend. Shepard, how can I help? Um Blah, 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 blah. Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, would like that, actually. Talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Work on genophage was more than just study. What was the special tasks group doing with the Krogan genophage? Study at first, as I said, but uncovered surprising data. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage, overcoming disease. That is huge, by the way. Maybe they were just having a lucky year. Or fewer mercs left, meaning more Krogan were left to repopulate. Please. Yeah. <laughs> Social environmental concerns accounted for. Not an undergraduate. Yeah. <laughs> Population spike caused by adaptation to genophage. No other possibility. Did the Krogan evolve, or did some of their scientists develop a treatment? Krogan scientists? <laughs> Never met Krogan scientists worthy of term. No. Natural evolution. Krogan physiology incredibly durable. Organ redundancy, backup systems, cellular regeneration. Genophage, like any other natural hazard, Krogan evolved past it. Hmm... Genophage was a terrible mistake. It nearly destroyed the Krogan and their culture. Now they have a chance to recover. Naive viewpoint. Krogan too dangerous to allow unchecked birth rate. Look at Krogan rebellions. Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians. Created new version of Genophage. Released it onto Chanka, other Krogan-centric areas. Restabilized Krogan population. I usually go for the middle route on that other one where it's like, oh, what happened next, you know? Because they try to give you, because it is a difficult issue. Like, if you, even now, if you let the Krogan, you know, repopulate as they will, like, they would take over the galaxy, you know? But, like, at the same time, like, who gets to decide? Like, why does anybody have the decision on whether or not, you know, they get to reproduce, like, as they will, you know? Like, I don't know, it's... yeah. You never considered other options? Hundreds. Thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population, avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger, averted potential genocide, or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy, Krogan included. Um, this one is really, like, I, I'm, I'm gonna pick it so we get the whole thing, but... If the Krogan are so dangerous, why not just sterilize them outright? Not a war criminal. Yeah. Not a murderer. Genocide. Unnecessary. Krogan as a whole, violent, aggressive, still have outliers worth saving. Genophage modification protected galaxy allowed Krogan chance to survive. Everyone wins. Good for us, good for them. It's to give you, like, the whole gambit of, like, his opinions on the matter, you know, because Morden has obviously thought a lot about this, you know? How did you distribute the modified genophage? Covert drops, hospitals, clan centers, water supplies. Very difficult. Few Solarians on Tuchanka. Team got caught a few times. Had to fight free. Messy. Better when things went as planned. How did your genophage modification work? Krogan evolution attached garbage genetic code to genophage attack sites. 
modification created other areas for garbage code to connect. Left sites clean, capable, running smoothly. I doubt you've told many people about this, Morden. I appreciate you letting me know. Wanted you to know I'm willing to do what's necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for free time. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It's a it's a it's a complex issue. Which I mean you could boil it down to it's not a complex issue on like either side of the spectrum, you know, but I think because I heard about Ferris Fields. Any news on your brother? It's gone. They're all gone. But we'll get them back. Shepard and Lawson are on it. We'll get your brother back. And make sure the collectors pay for taking him. Hey, Commander, we got Garrus back. That's great, because he was totally my favorite. With that pole up his ass. <laughs> what do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Zaid is like you, but takes checks. As long as it's not my money, we're good. No surprise, Morden acts superior to everyone. Like he's got tenure at FU. Uh, yeah. It's just my opinion. <laughs> I just really don't need to go spread it around. That's it for now. See so you, that's Commander. what usually happens when you pick somebody up. They... Uh, he he just, he just he just turns around and starts talking about him. <laughs> he was my favorite with the pole of his hands. Uh, so this is uh, have I already pointed it out how much I dislike the run animation in this game? How it makes her look like a caveman. Like she's all hot. I get it. Like normally she's wearing armor, and like this is like you know it makes a little more sense. But like. In, like, could you imagine? Commander, you received a new oh. message at your private terminal. Thank you. Could you imagine seeing your commander running around like this, like hunched over, like she's carrying like 500 pounds of armor? Um, reports tells you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Look on Loric. Scan the planet for a base. Oh, I remember this one. Extract the operative. This is a very delicate marital shepherd. You're not dead. Emily Wong. Oh, hey, how come you broke what if it didn't offer an exclusive interview? Shut up. Nobody cares. I like Emily, but no, please. Uh, from Daniel. Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought I'd seen the worst. This is, the, this is Morden's assistant. Clinic is doing well. You got rid of most of the plague. The Blue Suns keep offering to take security over security here. I keep the mechs powered on. I won't make the same mistake twice. So, yeah, this is, you know, it's like be a good man, think the best of people, but, you know, keep your security upgraded. <laughs> you know. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Do you have anything to say? How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries look painful. Hmm. He's been through a lot, not just physically. There's something about him. Just want to hold him close and whisper, it will be all right. This is, these are weird questions, honestly, but I'll do them for the sake of completion. Are you attracted to other species? Well, part of my job is predicting the motives and feelings of humans and aliens. Intimacy brings understanding. And passion is nice wherever you find it. Character matters, not race or gender. Hell yeah! Anything else, Commander? Hell yeah! <laughs> Um, I think I guess that was I could have done the other thing, the other options. That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. It is a little surprising considering this is Cerberus and you're supposed to be like you know oh, only humans, but as we've discovered, that's not how many of them are. Uh, I need to go feed my fish also before I forget. Just too dangerous for them in New Kent. I'm shipping my family back to Earth. You can afford that? Cerberus looks out for their own. They're funding the transport for me. It's the least they can do when we're putting our lives on the line. Of course, of course. Mm, he's up here. Did you hear? Another colony went missing. Ferris Fields. Ferris Fields? Didn't Hadley have a brother stationed there? Yeah, he's taking it pretty hard. Did I buy stuff for you? How can I help you, Commander? No, that's on the Citadel. I won't take any more of your time. And Back to work. And I didn't go to that part of the Citadel. I just kind of hopped in and then hopped out. Garrus! Shepard, need me for something? 
Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we joined up with them sooner. Hmm. You sure you're okay working with Cerberus? I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? I went back to CSEC after the Normandy was destroyed, but... With all the rebuilding at the Citadel, there was too much chaos for me to really help. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch. And there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. He's such a competent leader. And and I did think before, and then it actually says it in the game, I think, at some point. Um, I think when you do the Shadow, Shadow Broker DLC, um, that Garrus is actually essentially capable of become could have been essentially Shepard if he wasn't working like with Shepard, you know? That like perhaps him being with me on my team is kind of what slows him down because obviously in two years he got a heck of a lot done, you know, and like tried to fight the good fight, you know, and like yeah, vigilante, you know, like there's good and bad to all of it, right? You know, like how how does he decide to, you know, he gets to be the judge, you know jury and arbiter you know and that can be really problematic <laughs> as we all many of us very much know um but at the same time like the vigilante idea is like you know one that like you know obviously like batman and stuff like that like it's all it's a very popular one where it's like you can actually take out these like you know dirty people who are like have too much money to be touched otherwise or like too many connections you know type thing so it's a very appealing idea Tell me about your squad. There were 12 of us, including me. Former military operatives, CSEC agents, the usual. Had a Solarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. What did your Merc squad do? Didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. Okay, this is stupid. <laughs> it sounds like you were just another gang. Then I'm saying it wrong. Yeah, no, he's not. We didn't shake anyone down. No civilian casualties. That was our rule. He's ruling. taking down other Every gangs. Every member of my team had lost someone to Omega's gangs. We weren't out to get rich. We were out to make those bastards think twice before murdering someone in the street. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidomis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidomis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. You sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sidonis out first. No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. This did make me think that this was maybe like a foreshadowing thing. 
that Shepard would have to deal with somebody betraying her like that. Um, because, like, how is he supposed to know, right? Like, Shepard wouldn't have thought to, like, you know, second-guess anybody. You know, like, you pick people that you trust and that, like, you know, you, you know will have your back. But sometimes, like, sometimes you get sold out, you know? Like, sometimes the one person that you trust and, like, maybe they trusted you but something happens, you know? Or, like, the situation gets out of control and then... It's it's a completely different situation, and in this instance, it's more like instead of Shepard getting betrayed and having her team killed, she's killed, <laughs> and then she has to put her team back together again, you know? Do you know where Sidonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sidonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. I'm sorry to open up old wounds and, and new ones. Hey, I think we can... You yeah, ask him for upgrades. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? A few, yeah. Here, take a look. This is the ship enhancement, the Thanix Canyon. A. Hey. Uh, this cannon is powerful enough to destroy the collector ship with repeated hits. Sure. Can't think of any reason to not do it right now. Shepard, need me for something? Have the Cerberus crewmen given you any trouble? I think being part of the team that took down Saren got me some points. <laughs> Everyone I talked to was polite anyway. Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll freaking space anybody who's mean to you. What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? The weapons upgrades have gone in beautifully. This thing packs a hell of a punch. Just might give us a chance against the collectors. I love the like half turn. It's very dramatic. Um, also, I should have asked him that before I put the upgrade in, because he's like, they're pretty good, but you could do some. Uh, you could do some upgrading with it. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Uh, but here we are. I upgraded too quick. Anyway, I should call this one here. Man, time flies when you're having a good time. Also, ooh, do I have to freaking unlock? I think I have to. I must have to unlock all of my current, you know, uh, what do you want? Dossiers. Oops. All of my current dossiers. Yeah. Oh. I must have to get, like, well, except for the Master Thief, but I must have to get the Warlord and the Convict before I can get the second round of dossiers. <laughs> my husband is waiting for me. Anyway, <laughs> I have my best friend. Uh, soon we will acquire my son and um, uh, yeah, uh, everybody else. <laughs> but um, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And this is the part of the video where I say thank you to my patrons. So I want to give a uh, special thanks to my sapling tier patrons. Scalamonger, thank you so much. And Reese Galito, thank you so much. Your guys' support means a lot to me seriously and i want to give an extra special shout out to christopher who's my tree tier patron and whose support um keeps me um going <laughs> i don't know where i was going with that but it keeps me keeps the lights on you know what i'm saying so despite the hotel being able to pay for that on their own i'm sure but um anyway thank you all so much for your support i really do appreciate it and i hope to see you all in the next one